Welcome to the Wild About video series. Tune in each month as our town biologists share with you elements of nature and wildlife that are vital components to our ecosystem here on Kiowa Island. Welcome to Wild About Painted Buntings, part two, geolocators. Painted Buntings returned to Kiowa in early April after spending the winter in South Florida, the Bahamas, and Cuba. Adult males generally arrive first to compete for the best territories and are followed by adult females and then juveniles. The eastern population of painted buntings has shown a steady long-term decline over the past several decades. Much of these declines can be attributed to the loss of coastal habitat. In 2017, town biologists partnered with the Smithsonian Migratory Bird Center and the Cornell Lab of Ornithology to track painted bunting migration routes using light level geolocator tags. The primary goal of this project is to determine where our painted bunnings go during the winter months. The geolocator is attached by placing it around each of the bird's legs so that it sits on the back, almost like a backpack. The final step before release is to place a colored band on the bird's leg. This will allow biologists to easily identify painted buntings wearing geolocators in the field. Birds must be recaptured the following year in order to recover the tags and analyze the data. In 2018, eight of the 25 tags deployed in 2017 were recovered by biologists. 17 additional new tags were placed on birds in 2018 as well. Surveys from the last 10 years suggest a slight increase in Kiowa's painted bunting population. Despite this, coastal development and climate change remain significant threats. Continued research and monitoring of Kiowa's painted bunnings is vitally important to their long-term survival. Preserving and enhancing painted bunting habitat, especially along the marsh and dunes, will help ensure that future generations can enjoy these colorful migrants each summer.